Hello and welcome back to Python. Welcome back to FPDF with another part of the tutorial series. And for this part I already prepared some code because I am so smart. I delete every code after finishing my video. Yes, that's a genius move. So I kind of got something I used on the internet and yeah, edited some parts. Uh, no one in the, inter in the entire web will Writes uh, stuff as stupid as hi, my name is Bark and I'm Bark with Mark. That's something I made up on my own, of course. And yes, as a quick reminder, you uh, if you want to create a PDF, you have to create an object, add a page, set your font style, um, and with PDF cell, you can write your lines. For example, here is a header. And yeah, if you want your normal code, you da can't forget to uh, set the font and use a multi cell. Use multi cell. If you don't want your code to be in entire line, which um, yeah moves right and left outside of the paper and vanishes into the void, so yeah, with output you um, save your PDF and yeah. Now what I wanted to show you next is if you add a PDF page, you can, he will just add another page to the PDF and uh, he will start writing on the new page like we did here. And yeah, if we would now, if I would now show the PDF, one second, here you can see it, this is my PDF. And if I scroll down, he wrote the text into another page. And yeah, for the next part, we will import a uh, image and put it on our PDF file. And of course, I need a picture where I can, where I won't get any copyright issues. But there is artificial intelligence who draws pictures for you. Perfect for me. I just added a picture inside my folder. And yes, it magically appeared. No, I'm just kidding. You can yeah copy and when you are in PyCharm you can just copy it in your folder. If you don't want any backslash stuff like that, you can even copy it in the same folder where your Py file is, like here. And yeah, now we can just use PDF point image. We have to type in the name of the image. UEC, oh come on, you can just type on the image if you're using PyCharm, use STRG and C and then STRG and V was the English name of the letter and then you have it, just copy and paste like you would copy and paste uh, data or files. Okay, now let's type in the coordinates x equals for example 10, epsilon equals for example 10, width equals for example 50, height equals for example 50. Now let's create our PDF and let's see what will happen. Now this is kind of cool, isn't it? We have our, let's, yeah, let's, uh, so isn't this awesome? We have our three-winged bat and I don't know, I accidentally cl clicked on the button for, yeah, stop the recording. So I didn't know what was recorded and what what is not. But here is my three-winged bat in my PDF file. What can we do next? We can draw shapes. So let's draw a rectangle. Draw, draw, no, 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 no. Oh, it was just wrecked. Okay, just wrecked. Let's say 100, 100, 40, 40, no, 40, 40. Let's also draw. Yeah, now let's first try to run the code. I will just refresh our file. Ah, we got a rectangle. Perfect. 
next thing we wanna draw is uh, oh, what what can we draw next? Let me think. An ellipse. Yes, ellipse, ellipse, ellipse. Okay, this was unnecessary ellipse. Let me say 150, 150. This are again the coordinates. 30, 30. Let's click on one. Let me... Okay, here I, I screwed it up. Here you have the code because I, yeah. Again, what I wanted to show you is here is uh, the PDF Eclipse, Ellipse, not Eclipse, Ellipse. 150, 150 is the coordinate and right and height is the right and height. And yeah, now back to our little PDF. Refresh. Wow, isn't this cool? This is a li ellipse. Now let's draw a line. Okay, this is kind of simple. Now I didn't forget to put it back. But still, this was when I created my When I created my uh, files, this was kind of the most used. Yeah, the most used um, thing because I always needed to draw lines. Like, the, yeah, like a underline or yeah, over oh, on the top of the side, I needed a line. And I didn't draw any rectangles and ellipse, but it's still cool that it is possible to do that. Now again, let's run the code. And let me refresh it. Now we have a line. And yes, what can we do next? Now, what also is possible, what I wanted to mention, you can also use dashed lines. You can just set dash. But and then create a line and then reset dash. But you don't. I don't need to show that. That's kind of obvious and easy to manage if you wanna do that. I had to put this thing away. I'm sorry. Now let's get to the background image. So a uh, background image is pretty easy to set. It's just yeah using. Um, creating the image before you are doing every kind of everything else. Like for that, we first set my PDF header and that's, then set the image. We can adjust set an image before we are yeah, setting our first line of text or our first yeah, text. I've got another image I just copied and mm -hmm. This is the image. I hope it's the image of a cute panda and not of the yeah kind of beautiful lady with not so much clothes um, next to it. But yeah, let's see. So we can just say zero zero, and now it gets interesting. We can just use the entire page, which should be two hundred ten. And 279. We run the code. And yeah, let's get our picture back. That is. Of course, we need to refresh it. Yes, perfect. So now we added a background image, and I'm so happy it's the panda. And yeah, my PDF header, we can, the text is by the way, markable. Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoy, uh, enjoyed this little video. And you enjoyed it through the mistakes I made because I wasn't uh, aware that I need to, yeah, move away the site with the PDF. But yeah, still I hoped you could have some kind of fun 
watching me doing that stuff. See you in the next video. Bye bye.